What's up world? My name is Sarah and welcome back to another episode of whatever it is that we're doing here. Thrifting the 90s, early summer this year from the top. Get inspired. I won't be bringing back low rise jeans and showing your underwear, men's straight pants or denim and then I'd scrunch them with a belt. It's like a satiny. I like it. Came onto the scene and they stayed. There was a lot of tummy showing, crop tops over and over again. Can't go wrong, they feel comfortable. <laughs> now to round out the without a beautiful, I probably could have, ooh, over a hundred. Nicely drape on top of my, the grunge punky side. I love how it drapes with the denim and the crop top. Whether you were part of the, I was a teenager in the 90s, I love flannel. Now for the, probably not vintage, wasn't that when Tommy hit me? <laughs> oh, go to the movies. I haven't been in a while. Today we are attacking the 90s. We are thrifting the 90s. And I have to admit that going in to this 90s <laughs> thrifting video, I probably could have found a whole bunch of 90s inspired outfits previously thrifted, previously bought from the store already in my closet because like I've mentioned, I was a teenager in the 90s, so that vibe, that essence of the 90s, just, it's part of my identity and it's going nowhere. So this thrifting video was super easy to get inspired and find things that I enjoy because it's literally things that I would probably still just buy regardless of the themed video we have today. Let's stop jibber jabbering and dive right into what I found at the thrift store. So in the 90s, I would wear huge, big baggy pants, usually from men's department, like men's straight pants or denim, and then I'd scrunch them with a belt and tie them with either a shoelace or a hair tie thing at the end to kind of bunch them, or then I'd fold them and they would nicely drape on top of my sneakers, some kind of Nike sneakers, the huge bottom, oh, anyhow. I found a very cute pair of denim joggers. Now, this is a light wash, not even close to the bagginess. This is actually a somewhat fitted pant. It has a very thick, nice elastic around the waist. It also has fun, tapered elastics on the bottom, and the fit is very light and relaxed. The denim is very thin, but I think this has that 90s fashion vibe feel to it that I could wear and will wear today. I like it. I like the jogger style, it's so relaxed. These don't have pockets in the back, but I don't mind that. In the 90s, Everybody was showing their stomach. Well, not everybody, but at least the gang that I would consider being part of. There was a lot of tummy showing, crop tops with big baggy jackets or tops on top of it. It was actually what people are wearing today. The 90s seem to be coming back over and over again. Let me just show you what I got. So I found this brown caramel beigey colored crop top. I was actually looking at this shirt in the store early summer this year, and this looks like it hasn't been worn at all. It is a cropped, very soft, stretchy material. This is gonna go really nicely with the denim that I just showed you, or with anything else for that matter. Ooh, did I mention that the pants were only one euros? And I think I paid four. For the top. Now to round out the outfit, any outfit, you can't have a 90s themed fashion anything without a beautiful denim jacket. This is a men's 
I think like extra small, but it is very nice and relaxed. Not baggy baggy, but baggy enough on me. It's probably not vintage. I paid four euros for it, but it's in great condition and it has a little bit of distressness. I think that was on it before the previous owner bought it. So store distressed. And I think this is going to look good with anything of the items that I show today or anything else I have in my cupboard. This was a steal. I am so grateful to have this. Oh my God. Uh, I have, counting this, five. I have five denim jackets. How many shoes do you have? Ooh, over a hundred. <laughs> now, for me, the 90s also remind me of Tupac, Aaliyah, TLC, and then there's a whole other genre of Pearl Jam and the grunge punky side. But thinking of Tupac, I can't not think of the bandanas and scarves he would have with the knot on top. And that is a 90s vibe feel for sure. And I didn't find the similar pattern bandana scarf, but I did find an absolutely stunning scarf that has similar color tones as the crop top. And I think this is going to look super cute tied up in my hair or around my head with the denim and the crop top. Oh, bringing back feels, bringing back music vibes. You can't shake the 90s out of me. This was one year old. I love it. It's like a satiny kind of feel. Something that also screams the 90s, whether you were part of the hip hop scene or the punk rock grunge scene, or even the clueless kind of scene, plaid and flannel is the 90s through and through. I love flannel. I have a whole bunch of flannel shirts that I still use, gravitate towards, especially around the fall season, plaid. That's just my vibe. Now, speaking of plaid, I found this very cute peachy pinky tone plaid shirt with snap buttons in the front. This shirt will look super cute with the previously denim collection outfit. You could wear the plaid as is, or you could do the 90s hip hop thing and wear it around your waist. I'm just saying, it's super cute. And for this shirt, I paid 50 cents. I like the soft, very relaxed look. And yes, I will be wearing this. I love it. Okay, now for the rockier side of my personality. The Pearl Jam fangirl leather jacket feel. For that, I found this, is it a band shirt? Not quite, but it does look like it. Also has fringe. Now the fringe is super long, which at first, it felt weird and I was like, I'm definitely gonna cut them shorter. And now I'm not 100% sure. I think it's kind of cute. This is a sleeveless, it's actually quite low. This is, I think there's a word for it. Anyway, sleeveless band shirt with some fringy, oh, I don't know. It's gray, of course I'm gonna love it. <laughs> I think it says night tails. Also, it does have the year 1979, 
but it still has that 90s vibe. I'm pretty sure most of the band shirts that would people would be wearing were from the 70s anyway. I paid two euros for this. Cute. I like it. It, is. it really is my kind of top. All the items that I have been showing have definitely that 90s vibe. Now, in the 90s, sweats came onto the scene and they stayed. Sweats meaning people would go on stage and rap in big sweatpants and a matching hoodie and that would be all the rage. Also, the 90s, wasn't that when Tommy Hilfiger and Anyhow, I'm getting sidetracked. Sweats, can't go wrong, they feel comfortable. Sweat suits and sweatpants are back. Actually, have they ever gone out of style? Probably not. Any hosey. Gray, comfortable sweats that were three euros. And again, I don't know if these have been used. They are these relaxed fit gray sweats was actually looking at one of the great, one of my own gray sweats. I think it's time for them to retire. So in come a new pair of gray sweats. These are tapered at the bottom. Very simple, very casual. Wear at home, wear with sneakers, go to the movies. Oh, go to the movies. I haven't been in a while. That'd be nice to do someday. Any hoozy. This is going to be part of my last outfit of the day, and that is going to be with this very, very relaxed top. This is also sleeveless, but ooh, oh my God. So soft, so nice. The color is so nice. This with the tank top and the sweats, some sneakers, this, this, this is what I would wear. This, if somebody were to draw me as a character, they'd probably put me in this outfit. I mean, yes, yes, and another time. Yes, yes. 150, I paid 150 for this. I love how it drapes and it's relaxed. The color, this kind of olive green tone. <sighs> right? You could wear this with anything. I love it. I'm so happy with the items that I found with today's haul. I'm super grateful that you joined me for this fun adventure. Now, the next decade, early 2000s, that one is going to be by far the hardest decade to thrift because I won't be bringing back low rise jeans and showing your underwear. That stuff hopefully will never ever come back. Now, if you want to wear that kind of clothing, by all means, do that. That's not gonna be for me. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on this fun decade, the 90s. Hit that like for me and the 90s. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was, what 90s vibes do you still carry, Ooh, you can also send me songs from the 90s, some of your favorite tunes. Maybe you still listen to them daily. And remember to subscribe to the channel so you can find your way back for next week's video. Take care now. And Zigo. From the top. It's amazing. Keep that up. <laughs> <laughs> Is it rolling? Yep. Oh. <laughs>